Well, obviously Children's Miracle Network has put us out there because of the things that we have contributed to their organization over the last several years. Um, and then the staff, our staff that's been involved, um, they take it more personally than normal um, because they do want to see, you know, the results are here locally. And so they, they enjoy being involved in that. Um, Lori Crawford, who um, is on Mix in the mornings, she takes a real firm interest in promoting uh, the Children's Miracle Network Radiothon each year. Planning's already started for next year and we're a long ways away. And so there are individuals who just, they give above and beyond than what they get paid to do or what they're contracted to do or anything along that line. And so I'm real proud of our staff for stepping up on their own it's because it's important to them. Well, the great thing about being in radio and being in media is we've got a soundboard. You know, we've got a soundboard where we can reach so many people to open their eyes to these organizations. There's so many of our great organizations out there that people don't have a clue about. And when we take these organizations and we're able to get on the microphone or on a video camera or on our websites and say, hey, you need to take a look at this organization because they're amazing and they do such good for the community. It's just, it's a wonderful thing to be able to have that microphone or that video camera to be able to just say, hey, let's help these people. When we step back and kind of look at, you know, what we try to get involved in or what we're asked to be involved in, then we're looking on the whole to see how does it benefit our community. And so the different things that we do um, maybe lend a little more support for than the norm, it's because we feel that it does have a direct correlation to the betterment of the Amarillo area, the Texas Panhandle and beyond. And I hope we're contributing a little bit for the betterment of the community. I absolutely love being able to get out there and just just give back. You know, I've been involved with Make-A-Wish. I've been involved with Coffee Memorial Blood Center. You know, Children's Miracle Network. Anybody who knows me knows that organization has my heart. and. It's just, it's just a blessing to be a part of these and to see how much difference a group of people can make on the lives of just ordinary people who never expected to have a kid that got sick, who never expected to have to have blood to live, who never expected that you know, a trip to Disney World would be the last thing their kid would ever get to do. And that just makes it all worthwhile. And it's just an amazing feeling to be a part of that. What we do basically on a daily basis, but because it's a little above and beyond, it's very special for us just because um, in this particular case, it's going out and helping children. And so um, that's kind of near and dear to us. And the fact that um, AFP would even consider what we do as something to, to um, acknowledge uh, is a real special treat for us. When I first started uh, working with Children's Miracle Network, there was a little girl by the name of Hannah, who I've called Hannah Banana all her life, walks in, she's two years old, just as bald as she can be because she had leukemia. And all she could say, you know, just in that little two-year-old voice was, I have pigtails, because she missed her hair. Two years later, that little girl walked back into Radiothon. They were tiny, but oh my gosh, that little girl had pigtails. She's a senior in high school now and she's just as sweet as she can be and I still keep in touch with her and you know it's stories like that that just get into your heart and don't let go and that's why you continue to push on and you continue to support organizations like this.